The nerd recommends you get one of these gizmos right here. It's a SATA to USB hard drive adapter. And if you've got to rescue somebody's data, the right tools make for easy work. And there ain't nothing sweeter than a tool that's only about 30 bucks. All right, so let's take a look at this Black X 5G HDD docking station by Thermatake. Not a sponsor. And by the way, shouldn't I say this? Taco Bell, not a sponsor. That's what they always say in the videos, so I guess I'll say that too. This Black X docking station lets us take a desktop hard drive, three and a half inch, or a laptop hard drive, two and a half inch. These are SATA, not the old obsolete parallel hard drives, and plug them into this docking station and turn them into a USB hard drive. This is extremely handy when you're trying to get data off a hard drive from a computer that will not boot. You can take the hard drive out, put it in the docking station, and as long as the hard drive is not encrypted or you have the BitLocker encryption key so you can unencrypt it, unlock it, you can get the data off of the drive. If we look at the drive itself, it's pretty generic. On the top, we got a power button, we've got the docking bay, the docking bay by default is sized for a two and a half inch hard drive, which just plugs in. You can eject it with the eject button or the desktop three and a half inch hard drive and the little door goes down. And then to get it out, you can hit the eject button. If we look on the back of the unit, all we got is a power brick for power connector and a USB 3.0. So when you buy these, make sure it's at least USB 3.0, better yet 3.1, if your laptop or your desktop supports USB 3.1. But you don't want to get one of the old obsolete USB 2.0s. Watch that when you're looking for these on Amazon.com or Newegg. And speaking of which, these are very generic. In other words, just because this unit says Black X and it's by Thermatake, you will find the identically shaped unit and the only thing you're going to find different is that decal and that decal. So these are very generic. So just look at them when you go to buy them. Make sure it's not obviously from a bad seller or it's not a knockoff, but don't be surprised when you find three or four or five companies basically selling the same unit because they're just buying it from the same factory. Let's take a look at what happens when we plug it into the computer. All right, folks, through years of experience, I have learned that USB devices work better if you actually plug them in. Ah, try this again. Ah, now why? Why does that always happen? There are really three ways a USB can plug in. Now, if you put a brand new hard drive in the docking station and power it up, you are most likely going to get this situation right here. Nothing is going to show up in this PC, and that is because the hard drive from the factory comes with no partitions. So we need to bring up disk management and create a partition on that drive. Now we can either do that by going to the search box on the start menu and saying disk management, or I can right click on this PC and say manage and choose, let me minimize the file manager and choose disk management. So if I scroll down here, here is the hard drive I put in the USB dock and you can see it says unallocated. So all I need to do is right click here and say new simple volume. Then I'm going to run through the wizard. Next, it's asking me how much of the space on this hard drive do I want to use for the volume. I want to use it all. That's the default. Next, it says what disk drive letter do you want to make this? E is fine. E for excellent. I kind of like that. Next, it says, what file system do you want? NTFS is the best choice of file systems. And it's asking me for a volume label, and it has suggested new volume. Now, that's not very descriptive, so let's give it 
let's give this disk drive a better name. I'm going to call it Bubba. Yeah, Bubba is better. And I'm going to perform a quick format and hit next and then finish. And then after a few seconds, it should tell us this drive is formatted. Not quite there yet. Still waiting. I'll edit some of this out. So it's finished formatting. So now you can see I've got disk drive E, Bubba, 465 gigabytes. If I go back to my file manager, now you'll see the disk drive is available for use. So with a brand new hard drive in the docking station, you're going to have to put a partition on it, almost assuredly. And that's it. Thanks for watching.